right, welcome back. Now, it's been 17 years since Africa Umoja opened its very first show. The musical production has since toured over 50 countries across the globe. Soon, this energetic celebration of South African music and dance will run at the Soweto Theatre. But to tell us more about that, we joined in our studios in Johannesburg by some of the cast members, Enoch Fresh Lachwayo and Hazel Mklava. good morning. Look at your smile when I mention the name Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm, I'm, I'm fresh. So. I see, no, I saw you on the dance floor, Shame. <laughs> I'm fresh and I look Thank fresh. You so much. I'm not going to dispute that you're fresh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Hazel, how are you? I'm very well. How are good, you Good, good. Thank you so much. Now, talk to us about when did you become part of Moja and how did it come about? Uh, it, it, uh, actually, it's been like 11 years now. I started working with Moja from 2006, mm. uh, which I was uh, one of my friends just alerted me that there's an audition because he saw me like dancing just mm. for fun because I'm, I'm a Zulu. So yeah. I would go to the hostel and my cousin would invite me. We just do the Zulu dance just and for Ganja fun. Jane, so my friend, just I, I invited <laughs> my friend actually to come with me and then he was like, you know, what are you doing? Can take you somewhere, can take you, I mean, to the hall. And, and it has. Like, like, Look really? at you now. Yeah, it was, and then I went when there, uh, I, I, I was like, uh, maybe my phone was <coughs> 620 something. You are? Yeah, so it was on a the, lot of On the audition wanted, list? Yeah, there, there was a lot mm. of uh, 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 South African youth, I mean, mm. artists who, who wanted to be the part of, of mm. this mm. Uh, massive production, you know. Yeah. So I went there and then I was hired. Yeah. yeah. And as they say, <laughs> no one will take it away from you. You know, yeah. ubizo, ubizo, uh, yeah. you can't run away from it. Like, mm. like if, uh, uh, before I went there, I was working, like, I was on a corporate word, actually. I was, I was just introducing a corporate word mm. and then I just switched to your job. And then you thought... That is what I want. That's my life. Yes, ma'am. Well, Naheza, <laughs> how did it happen? Uh, I joined, I mean, I always loved the entertainment world. Okay. So I joined, well, I've been dancing all my life since age nine. Okay. Then I later joined Africa Emoji in 2009. Okay. I was actually the youngest dancer in the cast. They put me on probation for, it was supposed to be a month's probation, mm. but then I was only there for a week. That's oh. how good I was. Then I started performing, going mm. on uh, corporate gigs with the cast. And it was amazing. And ever since, it's been an amazing and journey. How, yeah, I wanted to talk <coughs> about the journey. How has it been? What, what has it taught you? It's been an amazing journey. Firstly, it taught me um, how to embrace my culture, yeah. to love my culture. I love myself even more. Because, I mean, when delivering, you have to connect with people. You have to, you have to engage them in what you do mm. and heal them in a sort of way. Because I believe that dancing is healing people. Mm. When you come and watch me perform, then I have to do miracles to your life. Yeah. So um, it's taught me a lot about just being proudly South African. And also, I mean, I've got a chance to tour all over the world, so, yeah. uh, which is amazing. I wanted to talk about the reception internationally mm. as compared mm. here. <coughs> you know, when I this say, we, we don't get to appreciate our own things here in South yes, Africa, but we yes. are more appreciative appreciated overseas. Mm, is it mm. really the case? It is. It is the case. But I mean, with, with every country, things are different. Mm. Uh, it operates differently. Um, like with uh, America, America was uh, my best tour because, I mean, we had to take an initiative of educating, especially the youth in America, mm. about Africans, about how we live and get to and get them to appreciate our culture even more, even better than we do ourselves. Mm. So, um, yeah, but otherwise, hospitality in other countries, also included, America included, has been just amazing. They love Africa more. Oh, they imagine. love Africans. I can, well, we love <laughs> so much at home as well. <laughs> now, but Fresh, when Anje, have you ta you've surely taught with, with Umoja and how has the reception been? What have you learned? And has it actually taught you to embrace your culture even more? Oh yes, man, most definitely. I, I, I think if, if the, the reception at home, it's low because of the information. I, I mean, uh, our citizens of South Africa, they're not well informed about the, 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 the art, mm. uh, I mean, per se. So in, in, when you, we go, I mean, to... to, to the, the overseas or, or, or which country, wherever we go, mm -hmm. we always put our flag high. Yeah. So obviously they want to know about South Africa, mm -hmm. so they will come in numbers. So the reception will be massive. Yeah. Will be like but what are they say? Hali conversation. What are they saying? Are they more interested in learning about the country, the culture? Oh, <laughs> oh most definitely. <laughs> they, they, they will ask you maybe something that you, you you're not sure of. But yeah. uh, since I'm a Zul, there's, there's a lot of that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, You've got Zul to know everything, yeah. all the cultures yeah. throughout. Sometimes they will ask you. 
I mean, about your culture, and mm. you don't know, you like these people are so interested yeah. in you, they're so interested in your country. But so. are we interested, Wena Hazel, as, as the young people, to, to learn more about our culture? We are very interested. It's amazing how we always get uh, inbox messages on our website, the Africa Omoja website, mm. of uh, the youth. I mean, they want to join Africa Omoja, they want to know about uh, the, the arts industry. Yeah. Um, and whenever we, we sometimes do um, workshops, dance workshops, especially uh, when we do our international tours. So um, we have like uh, people coming in numbers for those workshops because we don't just dance there we also educate we do we mm. try to do the theory part of the dance so and of our culture as uh, South Africans which is amazing people are interested it's yeah. just we need the facilities and the right equipment uh, to give these people and to channel them in the right direction mm. but yeah. when I start in Jim about born by all those are like many questions where here at home? Yeah, here at home. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite like when you yeah, I'm going Buza, around. I'm and then it's so you know it just I'm, I'm a healer. I'm a saint angel in this mm. way. So, yeah. but it heals me when even the youth will ask, "Oh, we saw you on TV. Yeah. Yeah. That's you. Yes. That's good. Yeah. Do it for yeah. us. To be the part of it. How do I go with yeah. that? I, mean, I would be like, you know what? You want to be. I mean, the part of this. You need to. It has to go. I mean, simultaneously with the school. You True. need to get educated yeah. so that you 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 you, you, you can become the best in this world. Mm. Because if you're not well well, well educated in, in this world, you, you will you will fall for anything, and then you'll end up saying, "Why did I do art? Yeah. Art is good." Yeah. yeah. just then we need to inform need to people. As, back as, it as up said education. about the workshops, yeah, people like yeah. they need to. I mean, to 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 to, to All right. go to the more, more more workshops. So, so way to theater. Yes. 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 Uh, so uh, the theater is going to be 14? Uh, 14 to the, right. the 21st. 14 to the 21st. To the 21st. And yes. how do people go about, you know, going to see, how do they acquire tickets and so okay, on? Okay, uh, they can get uh, the tickets at uh, selected pick and pay stores okay. or via web ticket. And uh, they can also visit our website, Africa Moja website or the Soto Theatre website and it will automatically put them through the link. All right, so what are you link. promising them? Why should they come out in large numbers? They need to see this show. I people, mean, people have they problems. want this show. They need, <laughs> they need it. Yes. They people need that healing. Need the African healing. That fresh perspective. Beautiful talents. You know they, yeah. yes. <laughs> they need so it. They need it. So we we make sure we, it don't matter whether maybe one of your loved ones has passed away, mm. but we take you somewhere we heal yeah. you. In, in another planet yeah. than this planet. So you come out there. You're like, okay, I need to accept something mm. because like, now you, your soul will feel like free. Man, and what's free. also amazing is that we've tried to find a way of incorporating the June sixth. Because it's the youth month, yes, it's yes. the youth month, June right. 16, of how we can incorporate it with the show. So, right. we're doing two shows on this. Mamela, there's so much that you guys want to talk about. We've <laughs> yeah. run out of time. Thank you so much. Thank Otherwise, you, you should have much. told me. I'm not going to be able to uh, do my moves. I need, I, I, well, just one, hey. just one minute. Uh, oh. We need to, to pass the, I mean, you know, we bow to them. Mam Tembe, Mam yes. Tons, yes. join that on, we bow yes. to the them. We, we, we salute. All right, we Just salute them. Yeah. All right. Thank you so Let's much. take a quick break. When we come back, I figure <laughs> Umoj will be uh, playing us out here on Morning Live Station. <laughs> They're going to kill me.